Alexander, your questions, comments, or shout-outs is the last time to, uh, we're going to be reading them. If you put them in today, obviously we won't be doing a TV show tomorrow, so uh, this is the last one. So thank you so much for all the questions, comments, shout-outs. This is from Kim Bros. It says, hi, Alexander, riddle me this. Why is it in the men's bathroom, oh, why is it the men's bathroom having thought-provoking questions and the women's don't? Congrats to the crew for the prestigious award. They have... They had everything to do with it. You are correct. It has been an amazing vacation. We have had smiles all week. Now, my question is to you, how do you know that there are riddles in one bathroom and not the other? That's the answer to that riddle. <laughs> there we go. This is from John. How often do they change entertainers that come on to do the shows at night? <laughs> uh, nah. uh, the guest entertainers, if you're talking about the guest entertainers, they come on usually for about anywhere from two to five days. Uh, and that's a regular rotation. As far as the singers, dancers, and special performers, they do six-month contracts. As far as the lounge musicians, anywhere from four to six months as well. But when it comes to guest entertainers, they're on for sometimes two days, sometimes but very, very rarely for five days. Mine is from uh, Andy. I think it's Andy. You are fab boo. Hope we meet again. Aww. Thank you. This is from John, and it says, "If you had to, <laughs> if you had a chance to be a superhero, what would you be, and what superpower would you have?" Who would you be? Uh, I prefer villains. <laughs> well, no, because I love Poison Ivy. I love Catwoman. Yeah. What would your superpower be? Um, telekinesis. I think. Telekinesis. <laughs> you have to be able to say it before you have it, but. Because then you can fly and you can move things with your brain, with your mind. <laughs> I think if she had a superpower, it would be finding a brain. <laughs> Forget moving anything with your brain. Just no. happy with, Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. How old are you? <laughs> She's not my favorite. Okay. All right. And you? Oh, uh, <laughs> favorite superhero uh, is Ant Man. Really? Yeah. Just because the movie just came out, I really like it. And I like Paul Rudd in it. Um, and the superpower would be invisibility. I'm really nosy, so I'd be able to listen to people's stories. I'm really nosy. But I can keep a secret, that's the thing. I'm a good secret keeper, but I like to have, my brain is full of useless gossip. <coughs> yes. When you have a secret for me, I'll never tell. Okay, this is from Talia. Talia says, I put a card in yesterday, Alexander. You did not read it out. Our love affair is over. O-V-E-R. Do you hear me? Finished. Did it ever start? Hashtag, can't read that loud. Suits are so bright and colorful. I don't know what your uh, question was. I'm sorry. We read most of them. Unless it was nasty. But yeah. You know, uh, uh, Jane in brackets and Robinson. Hey. What is the largest animal you could take in a you could take in a fight? Single. Sorry. Oh, fight. I thought it was flight. But no, it was fight. Fight. single handed. No weapons. The largest animal. Yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> if I was Ant Man, I could take on anything. What's the largest animal you could take on in a fight? I wouldn't fight an animal because they're precious creatures. <laughs> Big cat. <laughs> Probably a spider for you. Anything bigger than a spider. Like you. No, I don't know, because it depends how, like, I could no, never take on a horse. And to you, no answer. I'm not fighting an animal. Period. What? People, <laughs> happily, but... I, I, I could take this one on. I would take you on in two seconds, baby. Here we go. This is from Serena. Um, how many years have you been a cruise director? You did very well. Well, thank you very much. Uh, three and a half years. Actually, that's a lot. I was a cruise director on a different cruise line for a while, and then I took some time off. I took a year off to see if I wanted to be on land. Turns out I didn't. And then I came back here, and I've been with Celebrity for three and a half years, and was with another company for like eight months, so. Ten years. This is also from Jane, and she says, if you could eat any cake with any person, Ooh. who would it be, sorry, who would it be with, and what would you eat? Okay, first of all, cake is my favorite food group. Yes, yeah, so what, what cake would you eat? <sighs> I like birthday cake. No, 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 any birthday cake. If it's celebrating someone's birthday, because it's always a happy time, right? Yeah. So I'm happy because I'm eating cake. I'm happy because people's birthdays are happy. I do like a... Oh, gosh, that's a really hard one. My other half makes a banoffee pie. Ooh. It's not a cake. It's a banoffee pie. Ah. And that's really good. And that's delicious. I would say... Oh! Oh, that's not a cake either. Blueberry crumble. I don't have a cake, but I like any cake. But with whom? Who would I want to sit with? This is going to sound really silly, but can I be sentimental? Yes. My grandmother. My grandmother was like the best baker. She made some really good pies, but none of them were my favorite. But just because she liked baking, I'd want to sit with her again. She's passed away now, but I'd love to sit with her and just... Oh, that's such a good answer. She was my everything, so... Anyways, what about you? <laughs> okay. Um, 
Do you like it? You don't like I don't sweets. Like, I don't like, I like banoffee pie. Yeah. I can have a, a cheesecake at times. Yeah, I'm bored of cheesecake. And cheese apple cake. crumble. Yeah, actually, crumble. I crumble. But it's but like, I basically, it? basically just eat the crumble. Mm -hmm. The crumble part, right, I know. Apple, and I'd probably eat it with... Me. Snoop Dogg. Snoop <laughs> Dogg. <laughs> I had a guest, okay? I had a guest last time walking into the show. And she was, she got sick the first day, the crew was seasick, and so she was in her room all day. And she said, you guys made me feel better. She watched the show, and she goes, it's you and Jamie laughing, made me laugh. Aww. I do thank you for that. All right, this is from John, another one John. Can you tell me one of your blooper moments on the ship? I was actually gonna just, when we were doing the Daily Show earlier, I was gonna tell you my blooper moment. I, Sorry, I wasn't listening to one of <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like, this isn't funny, but it was funny at the time. So when I was a cruise director on the Celebrity Summit, there was a guy, after the show, I was like, they're good, right? Talking about the show, he's like, they're okay. And I was like, you get up, you do it. And he only had one leg. But he did get up, and he was hopping around, and he had the best sense of humor, he handled it very well. I, my insides felt I was dying, but that was one of my blooper moments. What's your biggest blooper moment? Pretty much the same thing. Don't you remember when I was doing tendering, and we were in Santorini, and I always make a joke. I was like, don't take the donkeys, you could lose a limb. And then I was standing on the camera like, don't take the donkeys, you could lose a limb. And she had this one leg. You're a terrible person. <laughs> I said sorry, but she was laughing. She was like, don't worry. She's like, I took the donkey, that's what happened.